Welcome back to Ways. More than 85,000 Nigerians have banded together online to call for the scrapping, uh, for scrapping the proposed legislation officially named the Protection from Internet Falsehood and Manipulation Bill 2019. This bill would allow Nigerians, um, the Nigerian government, to cut off internet access or block specific social media platforms such as WhatsApp, Facebook, and Twitter at its own discretion. This proposed bill prohibits statements online deemed um, to be likely to be prejudicial or to national and a threat to national security. And this, those which may diminish public confidence in Nigeria. So the government has that right to do that. So the proposed bill prohibits statements online and legislators backing this bill which have advanced to the second hearing through Nigerian's um, parliament claim it will enhance security, peace, and unity in Africa, most populous country, by curbing the spread of false statement. So imagine what an internet blockout would mean to you. Um, shutdown of sites, forced off social media, deprived of news information, and the means to contact your loved ones. First of all, that affects us hugely um, depriving us um, from news because this is a new station of course so you're, you're cutting out an avenue for other new stations to interact with each other because the world is fast becoming a global village so you're cutting me out from um, of course aside from uh, media interaction with family um, because I don't know the last time I saw a couple of my friends and even some of my family members that are outside the country. So you do like, um, what's that, uh, uh, WhatsApp call? And then on Facebook and Twitter, you just catch up with them. And then generally, and the most important one, you're cutting off my right to be involved or to air my opinion and, you know, um, um, get together with other people who share similar opinions on how to best make a change. That I do not. I mean, I joined the eighty-five thousand people saying no to this law. I don't. I don't see it working. And it has okay. passed second reading. Let me. Okay. Maybe shields was the linga, li, liga <laughs> and go to all of this. Well, I would say shields the social media be regulated. I will say yes. Okay. Really? Oh, definitely. It's a lawless situation. No, go on, I'm listening. It's lawless. I would say yes. But the problem with us in Nigeria is, number one, a lot of people don't read. I can tell that 85,000, maybe 70% of that 85,000 are not read taking what time. They to, yes. They're just hearing it. Oh, they want to gaga expression and all the freedom of expression and everybody's talking about it. I have read it and I see that, yes, I don't like the aspect from, I don't like the perspective of the government. Because this, if you look at it and juxtapose it with the one from Singapore, it's the same. It's just the, what do you call it, copy and paste. But don't forget that the culture of the Singaporeans is different from the Nigerian culture. That government is more responsible and more responsible. Transparent. Oh, and transparent. Yes. But the problem with the Nigerian government is because of the distrust, because of corruption, a lot of lack of transparency, anything that is emanating from the government would naturally revolt against. Would revolt against. It doesn't mean that, even it doesn't, it doesn't, like I said, like um, some few minutes ago, some people have not even taken out time to read it. But I think that we must. So I think for me, regulate because you, you made a very salient point, which is the fact that, you know, where this, um, some of the places where these people have put certain laws, you know, some of those countries where they put the laws and mm -hmm. trying to curb online and... For um, instance, for like for Dubai, instance in Dubai. China, mm -hmm. I know in Dubai. Germany. My, uh, my parents recently went to Dubai on holiday and... You can't make WhatsApp you know, call. You Dubai. cannot make WhatsApp call. And let me tell you something interesting that happened. You know, we were there married to a foreigner. Wait now. We're married to a foreigner. So... Um, they they were they were in need of some kinds of funds, mm. so he had to do a Western Union to them in Dubai. Do you know that by the time they got to the bank in Dubai, they couldn't access, access that money. money. Why? They say first of all, you are a Nigerian. You're coming to the bank to collect Western Union. That's fraud. Hmm. So as far as they are concerned, that transaction is a it's red really flag. Like, wow. So they are protecting. You know, they are protecting not just even the foreigners. Out, they are protecting their own name. In like, so if, mm. if you don't come to Dubai and say, it's Dubai, you can go and any wire transfer, you get it there. 
Guess what now happened? My sister had to go to the bank. They said, if it is a Nigerian that is sending you that money, then we, we will know that. Trace. No, we will know that, okay, it is not a fraudulent transaction. transaction. They didn't want to hear. My parents are old, though. My parents, not even a young person like me. Wow. Do you understand? And I know in Dubai, you're not allowed to do WhatsApp calls and all of those things. Mm -hmm. But you see, you made, the very point you made was very, very, which is very strong, is what I'm going to hold on to. If we had a responsible government, that we know that every step they are taking is to our own interest and benefit. Then when they come up with these laws, even if these laws are being practiced elsewhere and we see that the economy is growing, we will not frown at it. Do you understand? The reason 85,000 people would come out and say, no, we're standing against this bill is because of the insincerity, presumed insincerity of the government. Now, take, for instance, an elder statesman, a T.Y. Uh, bill, uh, Danjuma, Danjuma, coming Same out to such. say that we are in a hole in this country. Do you understand that if he opens his mouth to say what, I mean, what he knows, does this not tell you that we are, we are truly in a big problem? So social media, right? From the, the, the agitations of people, people are just agitated that this would be a tool to gag. To, to, oh, yes, sure. because right now, if anything goes, um, if anything happens, immediately people take it up, share it on WhatsApp, move it everywhere, it goes viral. So they can't even sweep it under, under the carpet. They are forced to come and answer. Ooh, I would like to this question. Tell you that what, sorry, hold on. I think now that you mentioned that, I think this is a way for them. Um, you know, political officials, I believe, to to be able to sweep things under the carpet, like I said earlier. For instance, never in the history of Nigeria have we had more people. It's true that there are false news, I completely accept, but never in the history of this country have we had more people get involved and are genuinely looking out and questioning. I mean, there are organizations like Enough is Enough Nigeria. I don't know anybody there, but I follow them online, even during the whole, yeah, international. The, the whole um, voting process. I followed them, and I was able to find out what is going on in Okun State. I wasn't watching TV because, you know, but I was able to find out what is going on in different parts of the country. And all these things happen online. And thing, exactly. And sorry so to cut you. If, if we let that bill roll, you're cutting off the online community, which right now is a huge... Because well, now, look at the clause. Sorry, Lami, I'll let you come that. in now. Because that's the part I even want you to answer. The clause in the script that I read was that it is at their own discretion. So who is to say? That is what was said. No, no, no. No, no they no. said it that it is at their own discretion. That is the it, danger. Exactly. You understand? So that is That's the danger. danger. So and you can wake up and, and oh, determine what is hate speech. You can determine what is fake news. Mm -hmm. Then um, the part of the problem is that uh, the, the timing is wrong. The timing where Shawere is in, uh, what's it Back called? in jail. Sorry, back not in back jail in jail. And all that. Then you are bringing down this out. I Look at it, and it has passed like... the second because that's the scary part. Now let me tell that's you the guys danger. the clause. There is no now this 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 law, right? They are proposing that the if you are caught, right, it is punishable by fines worth up to three hundred thousand naira. Come on, or a three-year imprisonment term. Come on, now look at the the punishment on this. Now, who are the major users of social media? The average Nigerian. The young people. Average. I'm even talking about age-wise. Okay. You know, it's the youth. Yeah. Teens and youth. Do you yes. So you are actually, because we are the largest population. We had, um, what's his name, John Seayo, on, on Sunday when we were yes. talking about youth's involvement in politics. In politics, yes. You know, he was talking about the percentage of the youth that are actively I mean, the register, uh, registered. About 52 you understand? Million. So imagine if you have that huge percentage, and most of those people are active online because we feel that that is the only power that we have Thank online. You. So why would you now wake up and say this particular power that we have, that is what you now want to put a, a control on? It doesn't make sense. Now, just suppose this with the. Um, president of, uh, what's it called? Russia. Do you know they Putin. have this kind of law in Germany? But nobody's, they, they are not raising dust in Because Germany. they don't feel that it is a exactly. bit to... Yes. I'm sorry. It's nothing to worry why about. people even need, have the need to do that? I mean, America, as big as America is, this law doesn't exist. Everybody have their rights to freedom. Were you, were you guys right following the impeachment um, debate? I followed and up it. to the impeachment of Trump. Yes. Now, if you were online, mm. trust me, what you'd have seen, the Twitter feeds, they were not nice at all. 
People are expressing Jonathan. themselves. It is freedom of expression. So I, I feel that, first of all, I think our leaders should rethink this bill. Because you know why? You're talking about Germany. Germany is advanced. But the, book, the part of the, what they are censoring in Germany is hate speech, then terterrorism. What are they censoring in, in Nigeria? Nigeria. That's what, that, that was so where I was going when I was saying... In a country where there's political unrest and all that Jack, poverty suppose and all this that. With what are they with a Russian president saying that they want to put a control. They're not even saying, okay, they don't want to put it on rap, rap mm. lyrics. His particular concern was more on the growing population of the youth the that the effect is having on them. Do you understand? So what is the effect of this if it's not really po politically motivated? Because a lot of these things, we see them that they are politically mot motivated. In India, for instance, right, mm -hmm. um, there was a time where they had to um, put a bit of control for a, a, a few months. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Most times when you see all of these things happen, it is a deliberate attempt to curb information that, that exposes them globally. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So Nigeria, we know that anything that happens in Nigeria, before you say Jack, it is all over social media. You know? That's so you really, you really cannot say that you want to begin to curb it Oh, I mean, sorry, you want to begin to, mm. um, at your discretion. You must be very specific. Honestly, if they want to put these laws, it's fine. And you know what? They also say they want to, uh, legislature, legislature say that this is to enhance peace and security oh, in Nigeria. Oh, oh, and I'm wondering, can you, like, point it out? Number one, peace in this aspect. Number two, unity in this aspect. How exactly does that help and where peace is, where is it and unity? in history... Right? We'll go on a break, but we'll come back. Where is it in history that um, something that happened online has truly caused a political, I mean, an <laughs> arrest or led Nigeria. to a death? <laughs> well, history, let, history is made every day. No, let us know. <laughs> we'll take a break to see from our sponsors, and we'll be right back.